these examples as possible so you guys are not freaked out by them. So in this example, again, let's just kind of go with the stuff we know, though. We know the parent function is square root of x. We did that last class period, right? So we should like this one. Um, we see that we have an a, but I don't really like this. So let's, um, let's rewrite this as a negative x plus 2. Would everybody be agree with me that negative x plus 2 is the same thing as 2 minus x? Because that 2 is positive. But again, that's still not really preferred. Because if we remember, guys, if we want to identify the b, we want to make sure that b is factored out. Okay? And that's, this is going to my method, again, writing this out. So if I'm going to factor out the b, it's really going to look like this. Again, these are all the same. All the same. This is the easiest one to understand for transformations wise, because now you can see that I have a b and I have a C, right? There's no D here, so I'm not going to write it in there. Well, actually, let's just write a D in there. There is no D, so it'll be 0. But in this case, you can see I have an A, which is 1 fourth. So 1 fourth, so since my A is a 1 fourth, that means it's going to be a vertical compression of 1 fourth. I have a B here, but my B is a negative. So when my A was negative, that was reflect the x-axis. So when B is negative, that's going to be reflect the reflect the y-axis. And then again, I have another minus 2. So that's going to be shift 2 units right. So again, I caution you. That is the correct answer, shift 2 units right. If you didn't factor out that b, what would you say? You would say it's shifted 2 units to the left. And if you think that's the right answer, plug that into your graph graphing calculator. And you'll see that the graph is not shifted two units to the left. It's shifted two units to the right. right? We did a problem exactly very similar to that in last class period. So you just got to be careful. When you have that b and the transformation, you've got to be careful. So we know what the parent graph of square root of x looks like, or at least hopefully. I mean, that's what we did last class period. And you can see it's being compressed. It's being reflected. So we have it reflected about the y-axis and then shifted two units to the right. And it's being compressed, so it's kind of pushed down. So now I can see that uh, my domain is going to be going from negative infinity to 2. And my range, um, there's, you guys can see there's a. The only thing that affects the range is if a is going to be negative or if, um, if a is negative or if you have a d. Well, in this case, a is positive, and I don't have a d. So the range never changed. That's still 0 to infinity. Questions? Preguntas? Chats keys? Yes? So do you always have to like, make it? So it would, you can't just put under the graph of my negative x plus 2, and then you made it negative parentheses x minus 2. Do you always have to make it like that? Yes. Like 